Fifth graders, today we are going to do lesson one seven, square numbers. Your objective is I can square numbers. A square array is a special rectangular array that has the same number of rows as it has columns. A square array represents a whole number called a square number. So let's take a look at the first four square numbers and their arrays. Um, the first one is one. And for this, it's just one dot. It's one row with one in each row. For four, you have a two by two array. So two times two is four, and it makes a perfect square, the same number in each row, the same number in each column, it's a square array. For nine, we have a three by three array. And for 16, we have a four by four array. So when you have the same number of rows and the same number of columns, you get a square array. So now we're going to answer question one on page 20. And it says, draw a square array for the next square number after 16. So if 16 is a four by four array, we need to draw a five by five array. So let's do five rows with five in each row. So we're gonna fill these in. So we have five in each row. We know the number model for this will be five times five equals 25. And since 25 is our product, that number is our square number. So when it's asking for your square number, and question number one, 25 is the square number. For each of these, your product, the total number of dots, is your square number. So we're going to write 25. All right, let's move on. You can also write numbers with exponents. So if we take a look, as you read 3 to the second, um, it really means 3 times 3. We can also say 3 squared. And since we're working with square numbers, that's going to be really helpful. We can also say 3 to the second power. The raised 2 is called an exponent. So we have this vocabulary word exponent. It tells us that 3 is used as a factor 2 times. Numbers written with an exponent are in exponential notation. So this is where fifth graders usually make a mistake. When they see this, three to the second, they think it's three times two, which would equal six. But it's really not three times two. It means that we're gonna multiply three two times by itself, twice. So we're gonna have two threes as factors. So three times three is the same as three squared and that answer would be nine. So if you take a look at page 21 in your math journal, um, there's a chart there and they've showed you four times four. Another way to write that would be four squared. Our base is four and we have two of them, so we put the two up here, which means squared. And if you get four times four, if you do that number model, your answer will be 16. So we're gonna take a look. We're gonna do one more of these together. Um, so that you can go through and fill out the rest of the table. So we have seven times seven. Another way to write that would be seven squared. And so we put that little two up here as our exponent. Keep in mind that two needs to be smaller than your base, smaller than the seven. Our square number is the product. So seven times seven is 49. All right, then you'll do the same thing for 10 times 10. And down here, we have our exponential notation, 11 squared. So 11 squared means we're doing what problem? 11 times 11. And then you'll need to find the product, which will be your square number. All right, um, if you continue on on page 21, you're gonna do some calculator practice. Um, we're gonna look at questions 7 through 12. If we get our calculator out, you can use your calculator to find square numbers, especially if you're working with larger numbers. 
So I guess we'll back up here to number six. It says use your calculator to find three squared. Okay, when you do this, you are going to use a button that looks like this. Now some of you will have a little carrot button. Your carrot button is kind of like this. Um, and your teacher can help you find that button or you can ask a classmate. But for this calculator, it's this one here that says squared. So if I type in three squared, there's that carrot you can see here on the screen, um, it equals nine. And so you'll record that information for number six. Then you'll move on to seven through 12 and you'll do the same thing. It's really just practicing with your calculator. So if I clear it and I do eight squared, my answer is 64. And so I will write 64 on the line. So 64 is a square number. Okay, you'll do the same thing with 12. You can even do big numbers like 43 squared. 43 to the second or squared. And you can get your number written down there. Anytime you multiply a number by itself, your product is a square number. All right, good luck with this lesson on square numbers.